While we're talking about echelon form, we can also talk about something called a pivot. The pivots of a matrix are simply the leading entries. So here I'm going to have a pivot of three, a pivot of three, and a pivot of one. It's critical to note, however, that before we can identify the pivots, our matrix has to be in echelon form. It doesn't have to be in reduced echelon form. If it were, the pivots would all be ones. But it does have to be in echelon form. So in this case, I have pivots of three, three, and one. And once I've identified the pivots, I can also identify what are called pivot columns. Here, columns one, three, and five are pivot columns. In what must be the shortest lecture, mathematics lecture video of all time, that's pretty much all I need to tell you about this one. I will say that uh, we talk about the pivots and we say that they have, uh, the, the pivot is the number three for row one the number three for row two, and the number one. So the pivots are three, three, and one, but the pivot columns are column number one, column number three, and column number four. Okay, that's it for pivots.